remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Public enemies Chuck D and Flavor Flav has had their differences in the past, with Flav going as far as suing Chuck and the group for unpaid royalties. Now, the shit has hit the fan, family. Friday, Flav had his lawyers to send Chuck a cease and desist letter, attempting to prevent him from using the group's name and performing under the name Public Enemy at a Bernie Sanders rally in Los Angeles. Chuck actually was performing under the name, a spinoff name of the group, Public Enemy Radio. Flav didn't like it. His lawyers uh, said that Chuck don't speak uh, for the group exclusively. Uh, Flav's name is synonymous with Public Enemy. Uh, Flav did not endorse uh, Barry Sanders. In fact, uh, before he filed the cease and desist, Flav made a public statement saying that, well, through his lawyers, saying that uh, Bernie, calling Bernie Sanders' campaign a fake revolution. Chuck responded by giving Flav a year to clean up his act or he's out of the group. I guess the year couldn't come fast enough. So on yesterday, Chuck announced that Flav was officially out of public enemy. This family, to me, is devastating news as a fan and a friend of both Chuck and Flav. This is devastating news for hip hop. Flav Flav and Chuck D is part of one of the greatest groups in music history, not just hip hop history, music history. And, you know, it's, it's, it's sad to see something like this happening. Uh, you know, we're on the outside looking in. And so we don't really know all of the things these guys have put each other through. And we don't know, uh, you know, what, what's really at stake all the way. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? We really don't know the details. You know, we know what we hear publicly, but we don't really know. These guys have been through a lot together. We used to tour with Public Enemy back in the early 90s. So I know the group very well. Public Enemy is one of my favorite groups of all times, period. And it's just sad to see something like this happen with Public Enemy. Uh, so, and, and, I, and I've been there personally, so I, I know how people feel. I guess it's how people feel when the ghetto boys have beef. You know, when we're tripping on each other, whatever, the fans don't want to see that. They want to see harmony. They want to see the group come together and perform together and continue to make music and all of that good stuff. But sometimes, you know, people outgrow each other. You know, sometimes you just can't figure it out. I think these guys will come back together, though. I really do believe they'll come back together because, you know, as Flav's lawyer said, his name is synonymous with Public Enemy. And Chuck knows that. Now, Chuck owns the name Public Enemy. That's why he's able to uh, put Flav out of the group. I mean, he owns the name, Lock, Stock, and Barrel. So, uh, legally, he can do that. Now, Chuck knows that Flav's name is synonymous with Public Enemy, just like his name is synonymous with Public Enemy. So this is going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how things turn out and how long it takes for the group to come back together. Hopefully they can come back together real soon. Uh, but this is just, this is just bad, bad, bad news. I don't like it at all. I haven't had a chance to speak to either guy. When things like this happen, typically, uh, I kind of fall back 
I don't make a phone call right away because I know both of their phones are blowing up right now. And people trying to figure out what's going on. And I know people also wishing them well. Probably not a lot of prying going on, but people are probably just saying, hey, man, hold your head. And that's for both because this ain't no good moment for Chuck either. You know, both of them. This That was a hard decision for Chuck to make. Believe that. It wasn't some type of knee-jerk reaction. Chuck is a thinking man. So I'm sure he gave this a lot of thought, and it wasn't over the weekend. He's been thinking, giving this a lot of thought for a long time. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how things work out. I just saw Flav uh, about three weeks ago. Uh, he was in Houston for a mutual friend's funeral. And he was in good spirits. Uh, we didn't talk about Public Enemy, but he's in, he was in good spirits. And, and, and Flav, no matter what happens, he's going to be all right. He's Flavor Flav, very talented dude. Uh, Y'all don't have any idea how talented Flav really is. The dude can play any instrument he picks up. The dude is smart. He's very, very intelligent. You know, don't let the big clock fool you. Ultimately, I do believe Flav will rejoin Public Enemy. You know why? Because this is not the first time that Flav has been kicked out of the group, and it probably won't be the last. Flav has been kicked out of Public Enemy more times than a drunk has been kicked out of a bar. If you don't understand that Flav and Chuck D is water and oil, that actually works, then you don't understand Public Enemy. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.